Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, I'm happy to be showing you the Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson action figure, which is one I wasn't particularly interested in, but they asked me to review it, so I was like, sure. A lot of people have asked me to review it, so why not? And it, it looks pretty good. I mean, it looked pretty good when I saw the pictures. I'm just not particularly into boxing or collecting figures of real people, but uh, it looked good, so I figured, what the heck? And I'll tell you right now, it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and get it off the stand and take a closer look. And this guy stands just about seven, just shy of seven and a half, closer to seven and three eighths, which makes it just about 18 and a half centimeters. It's not like one twelfth scale, but that's okay. It lines up with just about all the other Storm figures you'll see at the end. And it has cloth shorts, like realistic looking shorts. And that's a very difficult thing to pull off. Granted, boxing shorts, it's a little bit easier because it's not like your standard materials. You're not going to notice the weave as much. And even though the cloth isn't technically perfectly to scale, they did a really good job, especially in the details. You can see like the Everlast logo and the various other ones down here. Very nicely done. They did get that shiny look to the shorts and the elastic waistband is actually elastic, so that's really cool. Overall, very nicely done. I mean, just about as good as you can do for something like this. Uh, you know, we've seen sometimes in the past, like when we had those Capo Street Fighter figures that were supposed to be coming out a long time ago, and they had the shorts on Sagat. They just looked really weird. These don't have that look. These look really nice. I'm surpri very surprised with these and surprisingly pleased with them, so that's kind of awesome. As far as the figure goes, there's not a whole lot to talk about, honestly. It's built like your standard Storm figure. We'll go through it, but there's not a whole lot of paint. Uh, we have some paint on the nipples. We have just a little bit there. Uh, we have a little bit on his arm. It says says Mike on there in case he forgets after maybe taking a strong hit. We have the cross down here. Again, the Everlast gloves. And there's a little, there's a little bit of shading on the gloves, which looks really nice. I like that. Just a slightly darker tone, so that's pretty cool. And that's it for paint, really, other than the head. There's really nothing else. The boots, I guess they're not boots. Uh, the shoes, uh, they're just they're just solid black, so no paint there. But then the heads do look really, really nice. I'm very pleased with these heads. They're very, very well detailed. Uh, so we do have three different heads. We have the kind of neutral head that comes on him in the package. We have one where his mouth is kind of open, and then one where he's, I don't know, whistling or something i don't know kind of smirking i don't know you have two different alternate heads so you have some options and then you do get the three different belts which i guess he had more like that's an iconic picture type thing so he we've got the three different belts so you can put them on however you want and they're pretty nicely detailed especially the green one so pretty cool accessories relatively small amount but it's just a boxer it's not like a cartoon character or a video game character or anything like that, so I think that's okay. So let's talk about the articulation. Even though it's basically standard Storm, we do have the double ball peg for the neck, which does work nicely. The, the bottom peg holds its place, top peg moves around. You get pretty good range of motion, so that's no problem at all. Got some kind of weird mark going on there on his neck. I don't know what that is. But otherwise, it's, uh, it's pretty good, pretty good range of motion. For the shoulders, we have the ball peg that connects the arm to the torso, which gives you Lots of range, gives you a little bit of your butterfly with just that floating cap piece. Full rotation, really nice hinge, really good. Maybe the best shoulders we've seen out of Storm so far, honestly. Really good range. If your biceps swivel, double jointed elbow, still just a little bit better than 90. Uh, for the wrists, it's the same thing that we've seen before, but obviously we have the longer gloves, so you do get a little bit more limited range, but it is there, so it's okay. The gloves are kind of soft, so that's fine. We have a ball peg for the upper torso, which does let it move around pretty well. You don't get a ton of leaning side to side or forward and back, but you do get your full rotation. No real issues there. And then you can get a whole lot of leaning out of this joint. That's that's the one you're going to be using mostly. And then just finishing it up with the with the upper torso. So really good range there. Side to side is even really good. Full rotation. It's worth noting also that these joints have just the right amount of stiffness. They're not too loose. They're not too tight. They're, they're really nicely done. And then for the hips, we have the newer type of hips. It's going to be Pretty much impossible for me to show you. Oh, I guess I can. Somebody buy this guy dinner. We get that kind of new hinge, which is essentially just a, a ball hinge. So you can bring the hips pretty much all the way out to the side, pretty close to the splits, and they're not loose. And you can bring them a little bit better than all the way for forward, so that's nice. And going back, eh, about the same. He does have a crotch piece in there underneath the shorts, so that's, that's good. You don't want just a skeleton in there with shorts on top, so I like that. You do get your thigh swivel. Double jointed knee works very nicely. I have to say, this one definitely has the smoothest joints. Uh, overall, best consistency of the joints out of, I think, all the Storm figures. 
it's really nicely done. You do have an ankle rocker on top of the shoe here. And then you have your ankle hinge, which doesn't go all that far forward, honestly. It's not that, not that great going forward. It does go really far back, but it does create kind of a gap. So the ankles are a little bit weird. Not entirely dysfunctional, just a little bit weird. And you do get your ankle rocker, which is more along the lines of the Marvel Legends. It's a swivel hinge. So you have your hinge in here, and then it swivels off the peg. So it's a little crooked, but then you can use your rotation, and then you get a perfect ankle rocker. So that's fine. I do wish it leaned f farther forward. But you do get a toe hinge, which is good enough. So ultimately, it's, uh, it's a relatively basic figure, just because that's what it's supposed to be. It's just a regular human with uh, not a lot of clothes on, so there's not a whole lot you can do. But it's really well executed, surprisingly well executed. And like I said, maybe the best all-around consistency for the joints. Really, really nicely done. Very pleased with it. I think you guys will be too. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I do have new videos up almost every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games. We do live streams a bunch of times throughout the week. All kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you subscribe, come back for that stuff, and in the meantime, keep collecting.